In this section we're going to be trying to solve some equations using all of our log laws that we've covered before in Core 2, but this time we're going to be using them with uh, e to the x's in our equations and some lunds in our equations as well. So before we get stuck into that, let's look at some basic stuff here to help us uh, get through the equations. What if you're asked to evaluate or play about with something like this? Well let's think about this, lun e. Let's remind ourselves, what does logarithm or lun stand for. What that means is, you know, log base e of e. And what does that mean? That means what power do I raise e by to get e? So let's think about that. e to the power of what will give me e? Well, of course, e to the power of 1 will give me e. So the answer to that is 1. And let's think about why that is, because if I'm given this, I could rewrite that as the power I raise e by to get e is 1 e to the power of 1 equals e. So ln of e is very simply 1. So let's think about that. What if we were given this example? e to the power of ln 4. Well, let's sort of expand this and think about it a bit more. e to the power of the power that I raise e by to get 4. So let's think this through. e to the power of the power that I raise e by to get 4. I don't know if you can see, but basically this bit kind of cancels this bit out. So in fact, e to the ln cancels itself out in inverted commas, and therefore the answer to this is just 4. And again, let's unpick why that is. This is saying what power do I raise e by to get 4, so e to the something equals 4. So let's call this bit question mark. And hang on a minute, we said that when you do e to the something, it gives you 4. And we're actually doing e to the something, so the answer to this must be 4. So that's actually where it comes from. If you like a little shorthand way of remembering it, if you see e to the power of ln of something, the e and the ln bit kind of cancel each other out. I'm making inverted commas with my fingers here. Laser beam. Okay, so e to the ln, they kind of cancel each other out, and you're left with whatever you were learning in the first place. And so now let's move on with a final example. What does that mean when we end up with something like this? e to the negative 3 of ln 4. Right, well, let's look at this bit first of all. We can rewrite that as e to the ln of 4 to the negative 3. Because remember, you can take the power down the front of a log thing, or you can do the inverse. So we've done that bit. That's lovely. So we've now got e to the power of ln of 4 to the power of negative 3. And what have we just said as a shortcut? You can kind of, when you see an e and a ln bit, kind of cancel them out. Laser beam. So that's an Austin Powers reference for those of you that haven't seen that. And um, these bits will cancel out, and so you're left with 4 to the negative 3. Let's try that in my big pen so you can see that. 4 to the negative 3, which of course, as soon as you see a negative power, you write as 1 over was whatever you're left with, and 4 cubed is 64. So this is just hopefully a recap of all the powers and indices and log stuff you did back in either Core 1, if it's power stuff, or for log stuff, Core 2. So let's start playing about with it. What about this example? e to the power of x is 6.2. Hopefully you'll remember from core 2. Oh, I just had a knock at the door. Anyway, let's carry on. Right, got this equation. Solve e to the power of x is 6.2. You could get your calculator out and try doing e to the whatever until you found a number that was close. But what do we know? We know that if we take logs of both sides, and in this case we're going to take a log base e, a ln of both sides, because we've got an e floating around, let's see what happens ln of e to the x is equal to ln of 6.2. Now we've got ln of something to the power of something, we can bring the power down the front. So we've got x times ln e equals ln of 6.2. And so let's now divide both sides by ln of e. And the smarty pants amongst you will already be going, hang on a minute, ln of e, what power do I raise e by to get e? That's just worth 1, isn't it? That evaluates to be 1. So our answer is just, quite simply, ln of 6.2. Nice and simple. Let's try a slightly more interesting example. 
e to the power of 2x minus 1 equals 75. Just as before, let's take logs of both sides, and in this case, to make it easy, let's take logs base e, or lunds, of both sides. All straightforward so far. And we've got a log of something to the power of something. So let's bring the power down the front. And divide by the lunar bit. And of course, if you divide by lunar, we know that evaluates to be 1, so it's just lun 75. So now let's add 1 to both sides. And remember, that's lun of 75 plus 1. And then, because that's what 2x is, let's just divide everything by 2. And I could stick it in the calculator and figure it out, but as ever, I'm a little bit too lazy. So that is your answer there. And finally for now, what about this one? This one you're starting off as lens. Ln of 6 minus 3x equals negative 3. Well, for this one, we're going to turn it back into a power equation. So let's remind ourselves, this means what power do I raise e by to get 6 minus 3x? And the answer is negative 3. So I can rewrite this as e to the minus 3 is equal to 6 minus 3x. So I've turned that into that. e to the negative 3 is just a number, isn't it? You know, 2.71 blah, blah blah to the power of negative 3. So let's rearrange this equation. I'm going to take the 3x over on this side. And then I'm going to take the e to the minus 3 over on the other side. And again, this is just going to be some number or another. And then I'm going to divide everything by 3. And again, I could stick that in my calculator, and that would give me the answer to that equation. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you solve equations involving e to the x or lunds.